So I'm just going to go through and create this animation first. There's a couple of little gotchas, so I'm just going to explain a few things on how this audio tool works in Cavalry. First up, let's just drag the audio into the timeline. And let's just assign this audio to the shape position Y. I've also got a basic line here, so I'm just going to drag that into here. And you can see it's kind of flipped. So I'm just going to go scale Y negative 1. And it kind of lines up a little bit better. Also, just want to point out that the divisions here are 10, and I've got 10 circles as well. So at the moment, this is just a little bit flat. So I'm just going to increase the strength to 300. So if I create a fall off now, I'm just going to go and jump in here. So the fall off only really works for these circles that I've got in my duplicator. The line doesn't work on a point basis, if that makes sense. Um, so if we wanted to make, I, and I really wanted to use a fall off for uh, creating this effect. So I can't use the line, so I'm using a duplicator. And I'm just going to use a points to path. And I'm going to change this point source to submesh. And then I'll put my duplicator in there. And I'll turn off the original basic line. Uh, so now we have a bit more control of how this how this works. I'm just going to come in here and just going to remove that quickly. And let's just have a little look here what's going on. So obviously we've got this little equalizer and at the moment we've got 10 frequency bands. I'll change this in a second. Um, we can actually turn these on and off as well. That's just like a little handy thing. You can play with that later on. So you can see here that our equalizer um, with these 10 frequency bands pretty much mirrors what's going on over here. Uh, if we wanted to remap that, we can use the band weighting graph. So basically it's just remapping this equalizer so that it's the audio is more um, has more influence in the middle. So let's just put that fall off back on. And I'm going to turn off these duplicator points. I don't need to see those. And with my points to path, I'm just going to create a fill. And I'm going to add a index to color. With my white, I'll just pop tomato in there. Let's just see how this goes. So now, I'm also going to delete that. So now we, here's our little animation. It looks a little chaotic, but we'll clean that up in a second. So what's going to happen now, I'm just going to group these. And I'm going to pop this into a duplicator. If I change this to point, and actually I'll just change this to um, just something else so we can visually see what's going on. And I'll change this to five. So if I hit play now, nothing is happening. What's, what's going on is that this equalizer has only got 10 frequency bands. So for every duplicator that we have, it's just repeating that same, it's just got the same influence. If we go over to our advanced tab, we've got use incoming index turned on. So what that means is that, well, we've got this other duplicator here, we've got five duplicators. So we can just go five times 10 and add this up to 50 and straight away you can see a bit more change going on here i'm just going to hit play and see what see if there's a few other little elements that pop up okay so i might just change this a bit more i'm going to go count 10 and then 10 times 10 is 100 and I'm also going to put a stagger on here. And my stagger is going to go from 100 to 
Maybe 1,000. So as you can see, it's super chaotic. Um, if we come into here, we've got this option called Smooth Frames. I just want to let you know straight up that my computer is a glorified toaster with a screen. So this might actually affect my computer performance. So I'll just hit play and see how we go. So that actually kind of worked. I was going to change this down a little bit. And one other way of um, smoothing this, if you don't want to do that, is if you've got a pro version, you can just come into your ellipse shape, go to formers, and then click on spring. This is just a bit smoother on my computer, and it doesn't hate me as much. So I'll just turn the spring off so you can see what it looks like. Crazy. And the spring works wonders. And that's pretty much um, that setup. Um, the trick there is to use a duplicator and use a points to path set to submesh. So that way you can use a fall off to control it. And you can also use a spring deformer on those duplicates uh, just to smooth down that motion, which is pretty cool. It might not be as um, visually accurate as the smoothing frames option. Um, so maybe I'll do a bit of a side by side and we can uh, see which one works best.